What's going on everybody? It's me, Moldy Joe here, giving you guys another commentary battle in Medieval 2 Total War. I paused the video just to show you guys my army setup because this is a very, very short battle, only a couple minutes long. I'm playing as the Aztecs, and I have a very, uh, very direct approach on how I'm going to take on this battle. I knew that my opponent was playing as Scotland, so I had a good strategy for this. My front line is going to be five units of Jaguar Warriors. These guys are going to do the bulk of the fighting. And following behind them, I have uh, three units of arrow warriors. My main strategy is to uh, pin down the enemy infantry with my jaguar warriors, and then my arrow warriors will start throwing in their javelin-type arrows. And they should cause a nice amount of damage, actually. Um, so much so that I decided not to bring any archers. Um, I'm also bringing coyote priests. These guys are really good at keeping my morale up. My general's bodyguard is nice and happy in the middle of the fight. And then I have my flanks and my rear protected with Aztec spearmen. And my back lines have Quachique. I hope to run these guys around and attack from the sides. Uh, when these guys get into a fight, it does demoralize the enemy troops and will cause them to rout a lot more easily. Now, knowing that my opponent was Scotland, I know two things about Scotland. They don't have great archers and they don't have great cavalry. Um, both of those things are terrible if you're playing as the Aztecs, so let's go ahead and see what this battle is going to look like. Uh, seeing my opponent right here, I decide, well, I brought a rush army, might as well rush. And my opponent also brought a pretty rush-heavy army as well. He runs his uh, dismounted feudal knights straight at me. By the way, my opponent is uh, Medieval Warfare, one of my subscribers. Uh, you can see him all the time, he comments on like all of my videos. So. Uh, yeah, shout out to you, I guess. Anyways, looks like we are just uh, <laughs> going to kick off the fight right away. He's got no fear charging right at me. His feudal knights are probably tougher than my jaguar warriors, but my whole strategy is about being light on my, f light on my feet and uh, getting some outflanking shots, getting some javelins in the mix, and that will turn the tide, because also a lot of Scottish troops are uh, lightly armored, so my javelins are going to be very effective. Got my priests chanting their asses off. And uh, that's helping out, I guess. And I'm even getting uh, able to flank around. Because uh, my troops are so much more cheaper than most European armies. I can bring a lot of men to the fight. They aren't perfect. They're not great. Like I said, I, don't have any, I cannot bring cavalry. And lucky for me, my opponent did not bring any cavalry except for his general's bodyguard and my spearmen are chopping him up pretty nicely and because of all these overwhelming numbers my Quachique are in the fight um, pretty much the entire infantry body of Scotland begins to rout there I catch their pikes out of formation which is also another lucky break I get and uh, this is probably the biggest chain route I've I've ever seen in really any Total War game so Yes, I'm showing you that there is a scenario in which you can win playing as the Aztecs. This is my first win as the Aztecs. Really, if if you fight any army that has really good archers or uh, a decent amount of cavalry, you are going to be in a lot of trouble as if you're the Aztecs. So, hey, maybe you learned something about <laughs> about the Aztecs that they aren't totally a worthless faction and they can completely uh, break. A Scottish army. You'll see I didn't get too many kills because, uh, like I said, I don't have any cavalry, so it's a lot harder to actually run down routing troops, but we made short work of them. Uh, we will not forget this battle. Anyways, I'll talk to you guys later in the next video. See ya.